When I was 21, I worked in a Chinese food restaurant. I was a hostess, right? So they labeled me hostess, but basically I was a hostess, server when needed, bartender all the time. And I also had to do a bunch of weird shit. Um, I definitely had to do takeouts, pack up takeouts and stuff. But I had to do a lot of other weird things like, you know, organization and stuff that didn't really fit into a hostess, you know, job description. So anyway, I went there and worked there because I loved the food. Like I really liked the food. It was, it was called Fortune Fountain. They might still be open. I have no idea. So this is up in Maine when I lived up in Maine and I had this job as like a part-timer because I had a full-time job, but it was weekends and it was like a cool gig where you work 24 hours on the weekends, two twelves and you get paid for how much was it? It was like you work 24 hours, you got paid for 32 or something like that. It was an awesome deal. I had benefits and all that, but I needed a little supplemental income. And I was one of those people, like if I'm bored, well, I'm going to go do something. So I got a job at the Chinese restaurant. I learned a lot guys and I want to share it with you. Okay. So watch to the end. First thing I learned is that duck sauce is really easy to make. Okay. You love that duck sauce. It's super simple to make. I'm sure there's recipes online, but ours was like, applesauce and something else and I can't remember and then um I know that people think that Asian people eat that stuff all the time I'm here to tell you they do not they don't eat any of that food they used to laugh at they'd be like poo poo plata and they'd laugh at us um not me but like they'd laugh at white people who ordered it because they're like, oh, it's such junk food, junk food, you know? And I thought that was so funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, like my favorite stuff is their junk food, right? So I really paid attention. What does the owner eat? What do the workers eat? And I paid attention because everybody talks about, you know, the Asians have beautiful skin and, and they're so healthy and they live long and they're smart, you know, and they have great skin. I mean, you don't see Asian people riddled with acne unless they live in the United States. So let's get real here. And what did I notice? They eat a lot of vegetables. They don't eat the sauces. And they eat maybe plain white rice or brown rice. It's not like what we order. So understand that, guys. Asian people do not eat Chinese food, okay? They might eat Thai food. They might eat other kinds of food. But they're definitely not sitting there eating, like, sweet and sour chicken, okay? They're not sitting there eating uh, these things that are terrible for you. They're not trying to get heart disease and, you know, all this inflammation. They understand Chinese medicine. A whole nother video, guys. If anybody wants to hear about that, comment. Chinese medicine is, it's beyond the scope of normal Eastern medicine. Or, I'm sorry, Western medicine. Eastern medicine is a different realm, okay? They take everything into account, like your whole body health, everything you eat, everything you do, the energy inside you. So there's more to it than just, oh, well, you eat pancakes, you're not healthy. You have carbs, you're not healthy. There's so much more to it. And they also believe that salt equals life. Wow, okay, what do they say here? Quit eating salt, it's bad for you, bad for your heart, bad for this and that. Misinformation is the type of salt, okay? That iodized salt on your table and a little salt shaker comes in the little rainy day girl, salty shaker, you know? Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Morton salt. Cut it out. Cut it out, guys. Sea salt. Natural sea salt. Himalaya salt. Hit that shit up. Real salt. Do that. Don't do the bad stuff, guys. It's just going to steer you wrong, okay? If you really want to be healthy, I'm going to tell you a little secret. It's right here. Look at other cultures. 